Hey guys, welcome back to Power Rangers All Stars. Yes, my throat. I'm getting a little cold. It's not fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, today, um, I wanted to let you know they did maintenance last night on uh, Power Rangers All Stars here. And this is the result. If my Rangers roster will load. Um. Yeah. They nerfed Sarah hard. Okay. Now you remember when I first when when Sarah first when the new steel first came out and I did a video on how good Sarah was. Well, she's not anymore. Remember the time that I both that I think uh I had um, Taylor and Sarah at level 45, and, uh, Sarah was kicking her butt. Now that's not the case. And, uh, because of that, my whole Ninja Storm, my whole Ninja Steel team is, uh, suffering. Um, I'm losing matches that, uh, I shouldn't be losing in the Dimensional Rift. And, uh, I think my... Because I have Sarah on my Dimensional Arena team also, um, I'm going to have to replace her. And uh, I don't know who it's going to be with. It might end up being with Nick or uh, or maybe Kira, putting Kira back on the team. Uh, but it's a little disappointing. So we'll, we'll go into, we'll go in and we'll take a look, for, look first at Taylor. And you can see here that I have Taylor at level 50 and I have um, Sarah at 55. Now the star level is, uh, you know, it was a little disparaging. But if you go back to that video that I did when the Ninja Steel team first came out, uh, they were both 45 and Sarah was Sarah was higher. I mean, it it might it might correct when I get Sarah up there, but. Um, I've invested, um, quite a few resources in this era. And here you can see I got her at level three. I mean, her, her, I can still, there's still some room to produce with their gear, but it's just frustrating because I, I, I had started investing a lot of, uh, stuff into Sarah. And here you can see, um, you know, Taylor is level 50, so she's. Five under five levels under where Sarah is, and uh, you know her 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 orbs aren't as good as Sarah, and uh, you know the star level has has apparently taken over, um, and so yeah, I mean, I think, you know, she's almost three stars, and of course, uh, Taylor is five one. And uh, if we go into my season pass here, you know, I'm going to be, I'm, when I get to 30, I'm going to be getting enough to put Sarah <coughs> probably at 4-1 or 4-2, or, um, hopefully. Um, but that's only five. You know that's five uh, five things away from being able to get her there, and then I'll get some more. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm sick. Can can be avoided. Um, and then I'll get some more Calvin, and then I'll get some more Kira and Connor, and then some more Brody. But I'm sort of wondering. Um, but what I'm trying to figure out on my own is. Uh, was Sarah really that broken where people, or she, where she was, just, people were putting her on teams and just abusing stuff? Was was that really a thing that people did? Um, and you know, I feel like they, I feel like they brought, I feel like they did it to Brody too. Um, I wish I had taken a snapshot of, of this character roster a couple of days ago. Um, because I feel like, I feel like, um, not too long ago, I had Brody on my Dimensional Rift team, and, uh, you know, now he's just, he's just fallen off the map, 
Now you can say, well, you know, you look at it, you've got Calvin at at three four, you've got um press you know, you got Preston at three four, you got Calvin at, at three two, and Brody's only um three one. I mean I guess that's an argument you can make, but they're tanks. And Brody's not a tank. So I'm 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 really struggling with why why that's the case. And then you get and you got then you got Haley that's all the way down here and she's a and she's a three a three four. So at the same level that my Sarah is with better gist with better equipment than Sarah and um you know I know she's a I know she's a healer. And I know that's that but I'm just trying to figure out why it is this way and uh why they insist on making the mighty morphin teams so so great. I mean, at some point at some point I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm not going to put um you know, obviously obviously Taylor's on an island by herself at this point. Just because they keep giving you Taylor for doing absolutely anything. And, um, you know, I want to see, you know, if, if I, if I, if I put Jaden here now, obviously I have to finish getting him to, uh, tier three gear and then, uh, you know, getting that, but I, but I sort of want to get them all in a playing field. You know, uh, you know, I've got, I've got Coda that's above. I've got Shelby that's above. I've got a, uh, uh, um, Rose. Sorry, I drew a blank. Rose, Rose who's above. But I ultimately want to get, um, you know, you know, let's get people up to Jaden's level. So they're at level fifty at three four. And just sort of get everybody on the same gear level and sort of see what the uh, see what the differential is there. I mean, so you know, I, Coda's Coda's gear is Coda's gear is still low, so we need to work on Coda's gear. Um, but he, but then again, he's already above where Jaden is in terms of star level, and I think once I get uh, the gear acclimated, I think the Coda, sorry. I don't know. I accidentally was holding my tablet and I let go for a second. I don't know what happened there. But I think Coda will overtake Jaden. And so, you know, we look at and and obviously Shelby would be the same thing. And so, you know, Co Kobe, Sh Shelby, and uh, Rose are already above. So we'll pretty much left them leave them there. I don't think we'll uh, we won't look to upgrade. Kira when we get some more of her fragments. <coughs> Excuse me. But we do definitely need to work on her gear. Um, same with Xander. So there's a so the, so I want to try to get you know, if I can, um, most of these first couple rows, most of these first few rows of Rangers up to where Jaden is, so at four three. And then I want to do a comparison video and go sort of go through that. And the only reason I say 4-3 is because that's where Jaden happens to be right now. So I'm not going to look to upgrade Jaden anymore. Um, I think I do want to get his his gear. I do want to get him in all blue gear. And I sort of want to do that and just go go through, say, hey, this is a level 4, a level 50, 4-3 um, Jaden with regular blue gear. So not blue, so not blue 1, blue 2, whatever gear. And I just want to look across the spectrum at uh at that, and just do some some comparisons. But anyway, um, yeah, they did. They continue. You know, they did the they did the uh the maintenance. I want to say three weeks ago. Um, where where Sarah had, you know, what was it, seventeen percent dodge at the beginning. 
and they lowered that to 13 but it was but I guess it was still too high so I feel like they nerfed her pretty hard um overnight and uh I'm you know whatever I I'll, I'll I'll live but I just want to make you aware of that anyway I'd like to know what I mean I don't want to be the guy who just plays um in a, in a, uh a Mighty Morphin team, just because that's what everybody does. I don't like being, I don't like having to fit in the, to the mold of, you must be made, you will be made to play Mighty Morphin because X, Y, Z. And so, and, and you know, I've heard that, that the Dino Thunder team is, uh, is tanky. Um, but, and you know, I will be getting <coughs> some Trent at, at the end of the, uh, of the thing, but I don't know if that's gonna um, take me to the level some of the, uh, these other trends are. So, uh, you know, what other team is viable? I guess, I guess the samurai team is, but and maybe and maybe I can maybe I can buy into enough of the samurai. But but who? Um, I want to know who you guys think. Who you guys think is are a good viable team? Um, and and they don't necessarily have to be from the from the same series, but but uh, you know, let me let me know. Is Mystic Force a good team? Is is Wild Force a good team? Is um, you know, just let me I mean, you know, let me know if Dino Charge is a good team. I want them to be a good team. But I don't. But I. But I feel like outside of I don't. I don't feel like Riley and Chase are really good at all. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe they could. Maybe they are good. And I'm just not missing it because I don't know. But I just don't want to be. I just don't want to be forced into playing an MMPR, an MMPR team. So um, let me know if there are other teams that are worth playing, and let me know what they are. And uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll be back later. Have a good day. See ya.